win in the second set. Well, the problem, I think, with Lyceum right now, they, you know, coaches would tell the players, you have to believe in yourselves. You know, you won the, after a, a slow first set, you won the second set, you should have momentum. And you have to believe that, you know, it's legitimate. We won, we played well. Good point, we, yes. we played better than a powerhouse team like USD. You have to believe. The problem is, in this third set, obviously, they lost their confidence once again. It's like a roller coaster ride of emotions for them. Tabapunda with a setup. Oh, short. Guliman had nowhere to go on that. Well, again, miscue between Tabapunda and Guliman. Short by himself. Nice, Shadow. Um, it, but, you know, Guliman can do something about it, but timing wasn't there. Shaggy's v continues. It's Lyceum against UST. The sets are tied at one apiece. Glad uh, you can join us to meet China Go. And she's not related. No, no. She's 15 years old and she's from Quezon City. <laughs> and Maureen is smiling. She immediately told us that she was not related. And uh, she gets a nice uh, gift from Shaggy's, as our Shaggy's face of the day. That's right, and some numbers here in terms of reception. Lyceum receiving actually better. 20 successful reception or receives. Three faults, 55 attempts, 36% for USD. 12 successful uh, receptions, three faults, 42 attempts for 28%. So Lyceum's defense actually working better for them here in this match, which is weird, but uh, because USD is way, way ahead in this third set. I got a kick out of the uh, act, uh, gestures of Nikita Bafun that she was saying, Panchi, suntukin mo para siya naga uppercut. Wait, 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 big. Oh, Cruz. I think Lyceum needs Cruz scoring to improve their emotional outlook in the game. When they don't have Cruz scoring, hindi sila masaya eh. You're right. Actually, in every match, every time Dalia Cruz is in front, you know, they're always, they're always popped up. Yes. And they will be pumped up should they win, and they'll go to J Marks, the best grilled tuna in town. The Makulangan sends it to Karuli. Oh, oh. And she introduces herself to the Lyceum players. I am uh, Michelle Carolino. I am a guest player here. 18 7 is the count here. UST is in command of set number three. <laughs> One more. Oh. Time. Oh. She's like uh, doing some uh, hitting practice there, Michelle Carolina. <laughs> here again, here I go again. Same place. Actually, it's buying instant replay. And uh, Coach Emil wants to talk it over. Let's listen in. What I have always liked about Emil Lantog as a coach is that he has a game long view of the proceedings, not just one set at a time. He didn't even say, look at the score, this is the score. He's thinking of his team playing correctly. Let's uh, ask Denise Tan to join us. Denise? Oh, well, Coach Emil just reminded the girls to help each other. Kapag hindi na makareceive ang kakampi mo, lumapit ka, ikaw na ang kumuha ng bola. He also instructed his setter to just give open sets because UST's middle head, middle blockers are really tall and they have a better chance scoring kung doon daw sa maliliit padadaanin. Back to you guys. And they can only do the open set when Cruz is in front and nobody else has been consistent on the open set. Well, that will show you how good a player Dalia Cruz is. She really challenges tall players and uh, tall blockers in uh, Mary Jean Balse, the likes of uh, Isa Maizo. And she's long in, and lean enough to be able to jump with the best of them. That's she, right. She finds that open spot. Makulangan stretching and Carolina gets a good bounce. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have to be good. A little lucky helps. And uh, it's very evident in that play. She was blocked, but uh, 
Kung kung football yan, kabisada. A header. And well, that's nice. It brings a smile to both squads because uh, how often do you see that happen? So what, what do you call that? A header? A head dig? Uh, what do you call that? Yung sa football. Adlib? Adlib, di ba? It's called a heady play. Very smart. 21-9 is the tally here as Cruz, uh, as desperate as it may seem, trying to get a rally going here. No rally cap so far for Lyceum. It's been all UST here in the third. Here we go with Artates. And even the outstretched arm of Gene Balse is unable to save that. Well, good kill for Artates, but uh, I think they need to string up a couple of more points and do a lot of more of that if they want to come back in this match. Too far ahead, huh? 21 10. It's like a major rally. That's right. Dilang rally cap. Rally outfit. Rally roof. <laughs> oh, exactly. And Gene Balse is interested in ending this very quickly. 22 to 10. And we were, we were talking about it earlier that, uh, well, if it's fun family pizza, it's got to be shaky. So we were talking about it earlier that uh, Dalia Cruz, whenever she's in front, she scores a lot of points. I mean, she needs to be in front. And it's a sorry... Actually, it's, it's, it's sorry cause for Lyceum when you, see, when you see her at the back. So that means that players like Cassis and Goliman have to step up when this is the rotation. That's why we work in pairs, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we help out each other. It's more fun when you read the plug, actually. We'll let you read all the plugs. It sounds more inviting than me reading the plugs. We'll uh, do that every now and then. 23-11 is the count here. Uh, Ortiz now. Oh, sorry. Isamai is on now to serve for yes. I just love this outlook of Lyceum. They're down in the set, but they're all smiling. Look at there. Look at there. I am probably in the worst position ever, but she still managed to smile. Kasi unang inisip, hindi naman siguro wapo is ito, no? Ang ganda naman ang porma ko rito, eh, no? I tried my best, but I just couldn't keep it up. That's right. And uh, don't look now. It's set point for USD. But I like the basics of Lyceum. Huh? The way they have their hands together on the on the dig. Disciplinado, disciplinado. That's right. Coach Emil with a good training program for Nothing this squad. They're rarely out of control of, of the dig. Oh. <laughs> good day, Bertates. Short jump. Ended up with no elevation, actually. Nice block that time. The slightest block was always that is needed. Well, very cold off the bench. And uh, faced with a huge blocker in Guliman, and Guliman gets the better of that. Judy Caballero. 24 12 tally here. Here we go. Wow, red hot. Well, she heard me say, Who said I'm cold off the bench? This is for you. And she knocked that in so cleanly, and the defense had no chance to bring it into the air. You're right about the USD reunion. Everybody seems to know everybody here. Oh, I know. And then for our shaky, shaken play, Caballero given another chance. Oh, this one is actually Michelle Carolino going down, going through the center of this FU defense. And USD claims set number three.